Oh, okay, okay, okay. What's up, everybody? How's it? How's it? It's Ulu. Okay, so this is um, coming from the uh, book of um, First Thessalonians. And, um, you know, I've been meditating on the word admonish, admonish, admonish. And um, admonish means to, um, admonish means to, like, forewarn and um, scold um, in love. Um, I'm all crazy. I'm all crazy. So admonish means to warn each other and to, to, to care for each other, to prevent someone from misbehaving and, and going further into a misbehavior. Okay, if that makes sense. Um, basically, keeping watch over your fellow brothers and sisters. Okay? And um, in the book of Thessalonians, Paul writes to the Christians of Thessalon Thessalonica to assure them that when the Lord comes, He's going to come suddenly and we need to be ready okay, for the Lord. In other words, our hearts and our minds need to be ready for Him. Because if we're not ready for Him, I cannot say what's going to happen, but I want to be ready for Him. Okay, so we're going to read this scripture real quick because I have a doctor appointment over the phone with my doctor. And I wanted to read it. And I wanted to um, read it, okay? Okay, First Thessalonians 5.12, okay? So basically, Paul is telling the Christians, like, get ready. Like, warning them. Okay? 512. And we beseech you, brethren, to know them which labor among you and are over you in the Lord and admonish you. 13. And to esteem them very highly in love for their work's sake and be at peace among yourselves. Okay. So we are going to go, there's different, like I said, there's different versions of, um, um, that have been written, yeah, different, different, um, trans transcriptions of the Bible so that, because language is evolving, people, okay? So we're not talking like how this Bible, the King James Version, so people write it in modern times as we as it evolves with the language so that we can understand the words haven't changed the meaning of the bible has not changed okay god's word does not change and i say this with all 100 percent faith and undoubted faith just because the words change it doesn't mean that the meaning and what god's word says changes no okay realize that God gives his word to people that he feels that that will be his tools to reach people, okay? And even the Bible says that. The Bible even says that, okay? I, um, it says that. I'll put a little clip in here because I made one this morning. Okay, so in the book of Thessalonians, Paul tells the Christian people, have hope in Jesus' return. Paul encourages the Thessalonians to look forward to Jesus' return with hope and to use that hope to motivate their godly living. Respond to persecution with love. Paul instructs the Thessalonians to respond to persecution with love, grace, and generosity. Now, as a Christian, you are going to be... <laughs> God's people is going to be persecuted for what they believe in. It's happening now. Some people come to you and tell you, you know, you, you don't even think about that that's persecution, but that's persecution when somebody tell you, oh, you believe in God. Yeah, what? You believe in God and you believe what the Bible says. The Bible been written so many times that you don't even know if that's the true word. Guess what? That's persecution. Okay? That's persecution for what you believe in. Some That person is persecuting you. Live as distinctive live as a distinctive community. 
Paul wants the Thessalonians to live in a way that sets them apart from their neighbors while staying, still being part of their community. So, in other words, you can see all these people doing all kind of ungodly things and all kind of crazy stuff. Set yourself apart. Set yourself apart from them. You don't have to be doing the same things as them, you know, like prostitution and drugs and alcohol and drink and, and all that kind of craziness and, and, you know, just acting all with your booty out and everything. You don't have to be like them. But it's easy for human beings to become enticed by that type of appearance and that type of living because it looks fun. It looks free. You're not free. You're a slave to this world if you live the way the world is living. You are set free if you live in godly ways. That's the truth. That is the truth. Live responsibly. Paul teaches the, set, the Thessalonians to live responsibly for Jesus and to be encouraged by their hope in his return. God is going to come back. I'm telling you, the Lord is going to come back. Test new teachings. Paul instructs the Thessalonians to test all new teachings and to discard only those that are false. Now I'm going to tell you this. The Lord, when you, when you, when you put your faith in the Lord and you study the word of God, you feed your spirit the word of God, he will give you understanding of the word. Okay, knowledge is different from wisdom and understanding. Wisdom is experience. Understanding is mind and spirit together. Knowledge is just things that you know. Oh, yeah. That's things that you know. That's all. But you don't, you cannot apply that to your life. You don't know how to apply the things that you know to your life. You don't have, you don't know how to um, be empathetic towards somebody because of the way that the things that they're going through but you know psychologically of the things that they're going through but you don't know the feeling you don't know how to fulfill feel empathy for them so that's the difference between wisdom and understanding and just having knowledge okay you could say oh yeah i have knowledge that the lord jesus christ is my savior but do you understand what he does for you when you accept him as your, your Lord and Savior. Do you understand that he frees you from all burdens? He, do you understand that he frees you from all sin? Minister to the needy. Paul instructs the church to minister to those who are truly needy while also warning against coddling those who are lazy. Ooh, that's a big word, you know. At work, that word came up several times, coddling. Mm-mm-mm while also warning against coddling those who are lazy. Do not coddle, do not coddle, do not coddle. C-O-D-D-L-E. That's not, no, no, no. You must admonish, you must teach, you must test, you must, you must give, spread the word, you must spread the gospel. Paul wrote to the Thessalonians after they faced persecution for their faith. The Thessalonians were some of the first Europeans to embrace the gospel, and they had many questions about Jesus' return. So, this is answering your questions, guys out there, okay? This is answering your questions to your faith, how, what level of your faith you're at, and if you want to grow in it, yeah? So, Brothers and sisters out there, admonish one another. Warn them. Warn them about the Lord's coming. Not of fear, but of love and respect. All right? Karen, let us have a good one. I love you guys. Aloha.